Today I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a network filing system between an Apple Macintosh machine and a silicon graphics machine. The operating system that I currently have running on my Mac is Mac OS Mojave and it's version 10.14.4. I make use of a program called NFS Manager in order to set the network filing system up from the Macintosh's side. I'm quickly going to show you where to find it on the web. So you just type in NFS Manager into your web browser. OK, and you must look for the site's NFS Manager download from Marcel Breesink. OK, and go to the download page and just click on download. And there we go, the file's downloading. Okay, and that sits in my downloads folder. Okay, so I've already got a copy of this DMG file on my desktop, and I have it installed, so I'm quickly going to click on NFS Manager, and I'm going to go to New Share. Okay, and then you go to Select. I'm going to select Users, the black hole, Desktop, and the folder on my desktop which I want to share with my IRIX machines is the folder IRIX. So I select, and there it is. Okay, I'm going to allow other users or other clients to be able to write into this folder. So I check that box and then click apply. And there it is. I'm quickly going to test my server. So I'm going to select, I've got the black hole. And I'm going to test it. And there you can see it's up and running. Now that I've set up the network filing system from the Macintosh's side, I'm going to move over to my Silicon Graphics Octane 2 to continue the process then. Now that I've completed the network filing system set up from the Macintosh's side, I'm quickly going to take you through the process that must be followed on the Silicon Graphics machine in order to set the network filing system up. So I'm going to start off by going into System Manager. It's very important to make sure that networking is set up on the system, so I'm going to go into Networking and Connectivity, set up and start networking. Okay, the network interface is selected. Okay, I'm not making use of a DHCP client, so the host name is Octane Workgroup Home, and this is the machine's IP address. Okay, and then it asks me to restart the system. So I'm quickly going to do that, and I'll speed this section of the video up just to save some time. Okay, now that networking is successfully set up on the machine, I'm now going to go into System, File System Manager, and I'm going to select Mount Remote. So NFS version 3, it's a permanent mount, and I'm going to look for the black hole. The IP address of my Apple Mac is 192.168.1.2, so I'm going to type that in. Okay, and there it is. Click Next. Okay, now I need to find a file or a folder within my Unix root in order to mount this directory. So I'm going to check in Unix root. I've already got a folder called the black hole, and I've got a reference of this folder on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to type in forward slash the black hole. Okay, and then click next. It'll be read and write, next, and OK. OK, it's now successfully mounted. And there it sits in the file system manager. OK, so now if I go into the folder on my desktop, the black hole, you can see that all the files that are mounted in that folder appear on my desktop. Okay, so I can now 
transfer files from the Apple to my Octane via the network filing system. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.